an interesting, I hope, uh, little uh, coding practice challenge. Basically, we're going to be using uh, a loop uh, to decode some text that's been created. And so here is our, <clears throat> our situation. So the CIA has discovered a plot against a major city. Um, SIGINT, which is a signal intelligence, has intercepted a message with the location and date of the attack. Unfortunately, the message is encoded. Um, due to your awesome Python skills, you have been hired to decode the message. A double agent has provided the encoding scheme, which is as follows. So all numbers need to be changed to spaces. All capital letters should be changed to an asterisk. Lowercase letter Q is equal to forward slash N, which is a new line character, which means go to the next line. And then all other lowercase letters should be ignored. Okay, so here's the skeleton program we have. So if I run this, it comes up, a little title here, and nothing occurs. So we have to think about the problem. Okay, so we have this variable here. It's a string variable called cipher, and this is our encoded message. Okay, so it goes way over to here. And so your code starts here. So what we need to do is we need to go from the first letter to the very last letter. So the easiest way to do that is with a four letter in cipher loop. So this is four. This is basically a for each loop. So what I would do is just to test this to see if it's working, especially if you're new at this sort of thing, is print letter. So I'm going to run it. And it should print everything vertically. Okay, so basically this shows me that I'm going through every letter in order, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, next thing we want to make sure we can do is we don't want to print the message vertically. Uh, we want to print it horizontally. So that's why I created this second variable called message. Uh, it has, or it's equal to quote quote, which means there's nothing in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for every letter for every letter we actually add that letter to message and then that's inside the loop so for every letter add to message and at the very end we're going to print that message so what it should print out is this in the same order okay now you know because it's in a terminal we have word wrap so so we know basically it is working again if I look at that, I've got QGBH71, QBH71, so on and so forth. So I know that, that part is also working. Okay. So now what we got to do is actually look at the requirements. So all numbers need to be changed to spaces. Okay. So I'm going to say if the letter, so if the letter is a number, okay, there's different ways to do this. Uh, the one I'm going to use is if letter in, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if the letter, so if it's a, so for example, it starts with a Q. Is Q in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4? No, so it's not a number. Is 1 in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Yes, so it is a number. So it says if it's a number, it is a space. So I'm going to say message plus equals space. Okay. Next one. Capital letters need to be changed to asterisk. And I'm going to make a little mistake here, and then we'll come back to that and we'll talk about why. So, to check if a letter is capital, what I can do is if letter equals two equal signs, letter dot upper. Okay. So, if the current letter is the same as the current letter uppercase, so Q, so lowercase Q is. Is it the same as capital Q? No, so it's not uppercase. Capital G, the letter, is capital G the same as capital G upper? And yes, of course it is, so it is a letter. So we say message plus equals asterisk. Oops, didn't need that. And the last one, or sorry, the next one, says the lowercase letter Q is equal to forward slash N. So if letter equals lowercase q, message plus equals forward n. And what that does basically is it just brings down to the next line. Okay, so there's actually a slash uh, forward slash n here, forward slash n, forward slash n, forward slash n. You just don't see it because it goes to the next line. Okay. 
Okay, so now I think I've done it. It says lowercase letters should be ignored, which means I don't have to code anything. I just ignore it. So let's take a, try to give it a shot. Okay, so this is what I've gotten. So I see something here. I don't read anything. So something's gone wrong. Okay, and the reason is because I did not use L if here. Okay. Uh, one interesting thing is letter equals letter upper. So zero has no lowercase or uppercase. So a lowercase zero is the same as an uppercase zero, you know, because they're the same thing. There is no difference between a lowercase and an uppercase. So because of that, it's putting a space and a star for each number. So what we need to do is use L if. So if it's a letter, I'm oh, sorry, if the letter is a number, we don't need to do this, we don't need to do that. Okay. If it's not a number, we check if it's upper. If not upper, then we check to see if it's a Q. So the order that it's listed here is very important. Okay, so let's run it and see what the answer is. Okay, there we go. So the answer is Paris 1104. So that, I take that to be November 4th, uh, Paris, or it could be, I guess, maybe 1104 in the morning. Um, so there you go. And congratulations, you have saved Paris.